In this third example, we will deal with another two-dimensional structure. I consider a hollow rectangular box beam is shown here, so which is supported by a pin support at A and a roller support at B. So the pin at A has a diameter of 1.25 inch. The load P equals 3,000 pounds is applied at point C. So determine the shear stress in the pin at A. Determine the shear stress in the pin at A. Okay, the uh, dimension has been summarized here. So let's analyze this structure first of all. Okay, it says that the, the at the point B, it's a roller support. So the roller support should be like this. Okay, at point A, it's a pin support. So you should be familiar with the meanings of these different types of support. Well, what does pin support mean? What does the roller support mean? Right, our first step is always to do free body diagram and cut it free, and then we add the apply the forces, and uh, and add uh, the internal unknown forces. Okay. Then in this two dimensional structure, if we know at the point B, it's a roller support, meaning that we have a F B Y here. Right? Do you have F B X? No, that is not allowed since it's a roller support, right? So you have only one force, F, B, Y, upward. And how about at point A? At point A, it's a pin support. So we should have a F, A, X, and a F, A, Y. Do you have a bending moment here? No, no, no bending moment at at this um, restraint, right? Since this is a pin support, it's free to rotation, right? There's a no bending moment at here. So you have just FAX, FAY, and FBY, right? We have added all of these um, reactant forces. Um, then based on this, you can, um, you can, you can, you can uh, write equilibrium equations to solve these unknown forces. So after that, if we determine Ay, then using this Ay, we will be able to analyze the shear stress, the shear in, in this pin support A. Right, this is the cross-sectional view at point A. Right? So here, suppose that we will have a, uh, <coughs> a force Ay downward. Right? This, uh, you have Ay here then this bolts will be sheared, right? So how many cross-sections will be sheared? So how many cross-sections will carry this shear force? Is this a single shear pin or a double shear pin? So look at here, if you add a force Ay to this box beam, then you will have two interfaces. Here is first one, and here is the second one. So you have two interfaces to carry this um, shear force, right? So this shear force will be divided into two. And knowing these things, so we can um, we can do more analysis and to determine the shear stress at at point A. So as we just analyzed. Uh, based on the free body diagram, we can write uh, several equations. If you are a master of statics, you should have realized that you only need one equation to solve FAY, since we only need FAY in this calculation. Right? FAX obviously equals zero, since you have no other, x, uh, no other forces along x direction. So FAX, you, you have... Um,
or here so we have known that the fax equals zero so we only need to determine fay actually you only need one equation to determine <coughs> fay that is to um, to make sum of uh, m bending moment at point b equals zero so based on this equation, um, you can write this uh, equilibrium equation, right? This is F A Y. F A Y times its arm. It's just A B, right? The A B would be L1, but that is four. Right? This is four inch, so times four. Then um, plus P times its arm, that is BC. BC is L2, so that is 6 equals 0. So you will note that the FAY equals um, negative 6P over 4, and the P is. 3,000 pounds, so this Fy will be negative 4,500 pounds. Okay. What does this negative mean here? Meaning that this real Fay should be downward, should be in opposite direction to what you, you preset by upward. So it should be downward, right? <clears throat> you can see that we can calculate the FAY so in, in, in one step based on uh, this bending moment equation. So if you're not that familiar with statics, you would just go step by step. And the regular method is just to focus on point A. So in that way, if you just focus on uh, point A, this is, um, this is optional. Right, this is an optional solution, right? If you look at point A, so you can write three equations. The first equation will be uh, sum fx equals zero. You will get fax equals zero. The second equation will be fy equals zero. So that means fay plus fby minus p equals zero and m at point a equals zero so that would be uh, f b y times l1 or four right uh, minus p times l1 plus l2 right that would be 10 Right, equals zero. So you can solve FBY first, then substitute it into the second equation, so you can get FAY. Right. So this is an optional solution. So you can see that it will be more complicated than the first one we used by focusing on point B. Right, so anyway, we can we can uh, we can derive that F A Y equals negative four thousand five hundred pounds. So if we um, draw this figure, the cross section view at point A, we'll get this. Right, uh, and here you have this box. Then you have. This pin, right. and the force F A Y equals four thousand five hundred pounds. As we just analyzed, you will have two shear, two shear forces V, and they equal to each other, right? So V one, V two. So from here, you can also uh, use a uh, the equilibrium equation to calculate the V, right? It's a, 
obviously here this uh we will have v1 equals v2 equals half f a y right it's a five four thousand five hundred over two that is two two fifty pounds so what is the area we have no v now so what is the area area will be this by pi over 4 times d square. What is the d pin? Uh, d pin is 1.25 inch. Right. So here you just get pi over 4 times 1.25 square. And that will be 1.227 square inch. And the tall can be calculated from either V1 or V2. They're the same, right? We just use V1 over A. That is 2250 over 1.227. So you would get 1834 PSI. This will be pound per square inch. or PSI.